Hello everyone, my name is Calvin with Monteville Sewing Centers, and today we're going to be unboxing Baby Lock Joy. Now in this video, we're gonna go ahead and take it out of the box, show you what it can do, but also take off the covers to show you what's underneath the hood on this machine. So this machine is gonna be a little bit simpler to unbox. It's definitely more of an entry-level machine than I would say others, but as far as this concern on the marketplace goes, for its price, it is fantastic. It's got a really good build quality and comes with everything that you need to get started. Let's just open up the top right here. First presented with a tad bit more cardboard. <laughs> the instruction manual right here, sitting right on top. And then the machine fully encased in styrofoam on the inside. These are always fun to unpack. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of machine, sewing machine acrobatics here. Flip it upside down, lift the box up. Now we have an upside down sewing machine. <laughs> so we have the foot control right here in the top. As we lift this guy up, we are presented with the Baby Lock Joy. So now that we've got it out of the box and onto the table, let's go over everything that this machine comes with. If you don't see an accessories package right out of the box, don't worry. Everything is stored right up here inside the accessory tray. And in this little package here, we've got all the fun little accessories that come with Baby Lock Joy. So let's get these laid out on the table. So with the machine comes a buttonhole foot. You have a zipper foot for doing all sorts of zippers. And now here we have an adjustable blind hem foot with a little wheel on it so you can adjust the seam when you're sewing a blind hem. Uh, it comes with your A foot, which is gonna be the universal zigzag uh, foot, kind of a standard get, every, get everything done in a basic sense foot that gives you enough wiggle room uh, to do all the stitches that the machine can do with the foot. Also comes with this little handy dandy screwdriver right here, which is meant for taking the needle plate off so you can get in there to clean. I mean, very important to do when you have a sewing machine. A couple extra spool caps, a seam ripper, nice and uh, sharp on the edge. Be careful with that. Try not to poke yourself too hard. And we have some three extra bobbins that come with the machine. This is your spool holder, which I'll show you where that goes in a second. And then lastly, a couple of extra needles before you get started. Now this machine comes with your stitch selector, your length and your width adjustment so that you can control the length and width of your stitches. So for all the stitches here, we have a straight stitch center needle position, straight stitch left needle position, zigzag, a smocking stitch, a blind hem stitch here, two decorative stitches, and then a, another blind hem stitch and on the right hand side, your overcast stitch. Then here at the bottom, we have all of our stretch stitches, uh, which mimics sort of what the, the stitches are above them, but designed for a stretch fabric. It also comes with a top loading bobbin, a notoriously beginner friendly way to use a sewing machine. So we've got our bobbin right here that pops out and we can pop it right back in if we want to change it. It also has a full rotary hook in here, which I'll show you when we take the covers off, that is very, very difficult to jam. It's very, very beginner friendly. And still on the topic of being very easy to use, we do have a built-in needle thread of the machine right here that puts a little tiny hook through the eye of the needle so that when you draw your thread across, it will then pull a loop through the needle there and you can thread a thread. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd much rather spend my time sewing than trying to shove a piece of thread through a hole in a needle. <laughs> and the machine does have a bobbin winder right up top here. So click it over, wind the bobbin, click it back, It'll disengage it. There are plenty of sewing machines out there that all have similar features to this, but we at Monteville Sewing Centers like this one. And one of the big reasons is because on the inside, it's got metal components attached to a full metal frame everywhere it counts. Now the foundation of this machine is a very strong, solid, large motor that then transfers all of its torque through a belt up through this belt into a solid metal drive shaft that runs through the center of the machine and transfers the power down through into the needle, all using metal components. Now there are a couple of nylon gears that are used in this machine, but that does a couple of things. One, it does reduce the weight, so it is a very portable machine while still being 
solidly built, but not only do they reduce the weight, they also reduce the friction inside the machine so that it can operate a lot smoother. Now, all of these are mounted to a single solid cast aluminum frame so that everything about the machine stays solid. Now, there are machines out there in the price point of this that are mounted to the plastic exterior of the frame, which when you have this many mechanical parts that move, every time you make a stitch, you don't want there to be any flex in the system because that's how machines become unfixable. Now I want to show you that hook that I showed, talked about a little bit earlier. Now this is our bobbin case, which I did go ahead and leave in the machine so you could see where it was. But our hook here, you'll notice as I make a stitch, it rotates in a full circle. Now, what that means is that if you do get any kind of bind somewhere, somewhere along the way, whether the hook doesn't catch the thread quite right or there's um, pushing or pulling happening during the sewing process, it will actually bring that bind all the way around back to where it started. So you most, most of the time, you can actually just pull it right back out. So this full rotary design is what makes machines non-jamming. On the contrary, uh, there is a, the other type of design is an oscillating design, which is typically loaded from the front of the machine. So in, it'd be in this way instead of oriented top down. And that's where the hook would go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And those are the types of machines that tend to like to bind up a little bit easier, especially if you're newer to sewing. So as you can see, this entire mechanism is just about entirely built with metal components and everything that needs to be metal is metal. Anything that's not aids in the operation of the machine to make sure it's as smooth as possible, as quiet as possible, and will last as long as possible while being able to keep it in a very affordable price range. Okay, now let's go ahead and show you just a little bit about what this machine can do and how it sounds. Let's get threaded up. And just to show you how easy this needle threader is to use. Makes our little loop on the back that I can pull through. And our needle is threaded. I'll just go through and draw up our thread. We're ready to sew. So right now we're in a straight stitch. This machine sews relatively smooth and pretty confidently for its size. We lift up our foot the thread out and use a thread cutter on the side there to cut our threads. We can do a zigzag. These are our reverse. And it's very confident in everything that it does. We could do a uh, triple stitch here by adjusting our length. very solid in the way that it sews. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. That has been our unboxing and review of the Baby Lock Joy Sewing Machine from Montevilla Sewing Centers. If you want to pick one of these up, you can follow the link below to our website where you can purchase one. Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked the video, please go ahead and give us a like. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite feature was and if you found this helpful. We plan on making more videos like this, so keep an eye out for more in the future.